Oh my gosh. Hey, thanks for coming. I appreciate all of you. Uh, I was just thinking to myself, right as this video started, is um, how relieved they must feel once they get into that carriage at the end. Just the weight lifted from their shoulders. And you could just see them finally having a moment to themselves and talking. And I could only, I, man, I would love to have known what they were saying to each other. And like I mentioned earlier in the other video, you could see her finally crack a smile. And you could just see the relief on their faces of it's over, right? Um, wow, that, that was special. Um, things that I just stuck out to me um, off the top of my head is at the very beginning, you notice it's almost split in two. You had the front part of the church, right? As the people were walking, they walked down the road. There were those people that were already seated. Now, like, I don't know who were they and, and why they're directed to sit there. Uh, and then it, you, they actually walk through a door where it's, it's blocked off and that from where the actual coronation and service happened. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, and then all the different chairs that he had to sit in. There was, of course, the coronation chair. The, that's the granddaddy of them all. That's the, that's the big one. And then, of course, they had the chairs on the side there and, and but also a place to allow them to kneel. And then they had the two chairs further back in the middle. Um, I, I thought that was interesting and how they rotate them between chairs and whatnot. And, of course, all the, the ring and the scepter and the rod, uh, all the different things that he needs to uh, you know, hold on to, the ball or orb. I'm not, I, I don't remember what that was actually called. Um, watching him sit there and hold it, you know, for however long he had to do that with his arm like that. That was, that was interesting. I can only imagine that after a while that thing starts to get pretty heavy. And I love the fact that they had all these people helping them. That certainly makes the whole thing easier when you know somebody's going to tell you where, where and what to say. And it, this is the part where you stand. This is the part where you kneel, so on and so forth. Um, you can't do something like this without, without that. And even the Archbishop of Canterbury, he, he had a guy that was helping them, uh, while he was doing service, which is, again, this is the first time, you know, all these people are doing this. So this is new to them as much as it is to King Charles and Camilla. It, do you call her queen now? I mean, I, of course you probably call her queen. I know that's probably a dumb question, but. <clears throat> um, yes, you do call her queen. Okay. Um, it, it's not just their first time. It's everybody who's there uh, is first time um, performing this uh, coronation service. So, yeah, incredible. So please uh, let me know what you guys thought and uh, I, or drop me an email. However you want to do it is great with me. So hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. Thanks so much, everyone. All right, take care.